all right welcome back guys so today we're gonna talk about the editor part like how it works and we're gonna make some query to that so i hope i haven't like uh, shown this feature in the grip.js that how to query the elements into the grip.js and how to collect the json data of the each and every element okay so in the previous video i've shown you that uh, how you can get the html and css whatever you are editing into the canvas so extract that data from there but in today's video i'm just going to tell you that how you can query some data sets so let's suppose i'm going to open my console over here and into the console let's clear this out and if you see this so editor automatically add an instance of the editor instance into the window dot editor so if you type editor only over here so you will get an object like this okay so inside that object you will see lot of lot of key objects over here key pairs over here and also you can see a lot of things like you can see a uh, lot of functions over here uh, by using those you can create the component you can make the queries and also you can see like there's an asset manager that how many images are already inside of that so there are a lot of function into that that uh, i'm not gonna tell you each and every feature so i'm gonna tell you some few important feature that's very important into the great cheers okay if you want to query for this element like which one is selected right now so you can do right directly like editor dot get selected okay so editor dot get selected so if you uh, just type this and then you will get an object related to this element so let me show you into the attributes you will see what is the tag like custom name of this element is the text okay so you will get every detail of this element over here so like if you see into, into this object so you can see how many stylings are added into this object uh, sorry in this element how many toolbars are there how many traits are loading for this like these are the traits okay and type of this element it's text type okay and also if you see the classes so inside the models you will see the classes so you can see how many classes are appended into the inside this element so you can get a lot of things over here and you get each and every detail about that element okay so by using this and also if we type editor dot canvas okay so you will get each and every detail of this canvas whatever exists in size of this canvas and what you need to drag and uh, like what you need to drop inside this canvas so you can get the feature uh, detail about that so you will see inside the canvas there are a lot of functions over here let's suppose you have to, if you want to use your ad, a canvas as a document like normally we do into the javascript like document dot uh, get element file something like that so uh, how you can do inside this canvas so what you need to do first you need to do editor dot canvas dot get document okay so just clicking on that you will get the whole document inside of this canvas if i click on this so you get you can see i got the document inside of that after that i'm getting the html if I have a, you can get the head element, body element inside that body, whatever we have, it's going to render you out. So whenever you will make the changes into inside the canvas and you see anything like inside this, whatever you have built and whatever you have designed, that going to be comes inside this wrapper class. Okay. So whatever you are doing inside the canvas, that's going to be included inside this. So wrapper is your parent class, like parent, grandparent, whatever you can say, this is the wrapper and inside that you will see all the elements so you can see welcome to builder so this is right now is placed inside our builder so this element right now so that's why it is coming over here okay so if you like so let's suppose let's suppose what i'm doing i'm just initializing a variable over here and inside that variable i am using this canvas dot get document okay 
so i have to initialize this canvas dot get document inside a variable okay and now what i'm going to do i have to find this element like this element by using a dot get element by something so let me check what is the class of this element should i let me check so the what we're gonna find we're gonna pick a class from here so what i should so let's suppose this is the id of this element okay so i'm just going to find this id from the right a dot get element by id and i'm just going to remove this part and put here of all a reference a is not defined okay we need to put it on top okay so you can see we have got the whole element in a html format okay so you can see welcome to the builder and you can get everything id is same so that's how we can do inside the grape chairs and also there's a lot of feature let's suppose editor dot get config okay so you if you want to see all the configs whatever you config have you have assigned for this builder so you can get the config over here like whatever we are assigning we were assigning like if you see my previous video so i have assigned a configuration for whenever i was initializing the grip js i added some configuration into that so that the thing i did over here so you can get the whole config so this is now grape js uh, like grape js show you the all the configs whatever you have to initialize like all the list of keys over here like allows you the asset manager so what you can do inside the asset manager there's a function of asset manager wherever you will like whenever you will upload an image whenever you will upload an image drag an image over here this function gonna be called so i think i hope i have already uh, described about this but if you haven't seen my video so let me describe it so you can this function gonna be called this is a callback function and it gonna start whatever you can make a query or something like make a api request or something for uploading that image also there's a editor dot set style like i'm just showing you some usable command that is very necessary to use inside the grape js so normally people find those that how we can do so i'm just showing you those command. so style set style and you can type styles over here like you can type something style inside of this so let me like to look what i should do so if you see uh, i want to like i want to make like uh, if i get this id from here and i want to uh, change the color of background color of this so what i will do hashtag v control v and background color so if i hit enter it will change the background color of the element so if you see the background color has been changed and also let me show you some more things inside this so if we pick block manager okay dot add just type a random number and just add it and let's see we have added or not so if you see over there's a blank block manager have been added if you drag it nothing gonna show you because we need to describe you need to describe some more things over here like content attributes and on uh, label and a lot of things over here that what would be the category and all the things and also let's see like editor dot like command i have already shown you before device manager like you can add the device manager these are the device manager like these are the, no sorry so inside the device manager you can add devices like this if you want to add more devices over here so you can add into the device manager okay editor.css so css tells you how many styles have been appended inside of this and uh, let's try asset manager so if i will type asset manager you can see 
we are getting some function over here and also the name is just asset manager if we try out some function like I'm going to type this function get all okay so let's try editor asset manager dot get all that what it does it will give you all the assets inside like all the images and video files inside this asset manager so it will show you all it will it will show all, all the things over here okay so length so you can see length is zero there are no models if there would be any image then it's going to show you the models inside of let me add an image over here let me show you image and if i would copy this image url click on this and if i would copy the image url over here from here copy image address and if i would just add that image over here like this and you can see image has been added if i would try that command again and you can see there's a model inside so you can see there's a model inside of this and if you try to open it out and you can see and you will see the url over here so the already there's a image added over here so it's gonna show you every detail each and every small detail of your builder like how many panels do you have so you can see like editor dot panels panels okay so inside that you can see multiple panels so get panel so you need to add one more function dot panel dot get panel and just you can see now get panels and if you type so you can see if you have get panel so you can see there's a one panel over here so this is your one panel and how many buttons are over inside that panel so you will see number of buttons are nine and you can also count over here four five six seven eight nine so there are nine buttons over here and, and each and every buttons detail is you can see like whatever the class name you have added in like that whatever the commands that button run through and also the context attribute what are the attributes like these so uh, these details you can get from the builder uh, like get from these commands and uh, and also you can customize it as per your own choice so there are so i did lot of configuration into the builder just by using these JSONs and like these objects i was querying and i was just doing kind of changes into that because every time if you want to do some kind of changes so you need to get the element id or element structure data structure and if you want to do the changes inside this icon like uh, something uh, different should happen if you click on this icon so that you can do also and also dragging and dropping of these elements something more should happen like normally right now it is getting dragged inside this but if you want to do something more inside this so you need to know about these query sets that how do we manage so uh, that's it from the video and thank you so much guys thank you for watching and please subscribe guys because i'm making video continuously on this and i think